This is the Hollywood jungle. Looks innocent enough, but behind all those studio fronts, that's another story. There are many small studios in Hollywood, some of them rich, some of them rocky. Now here's a studio where beginners sometimes hang their shingles. In a moment, you'll meet one of the slickest con men Hollywood has ever seen. His name? Fletcher Mathering. This year, occupation director. Of course, he's never directed anything yet, but he's a director, all right. Just ask him. I know I'm behind in the rent, and I meant to speak to you about it this morning. Fact of the matter is, I've got a client coming in this afternoon. Now, he's uh, ready to put up the money for my picture, and he's going to give me a check this afternoon. You'll get your rent then. I've heard these empty promises before. No money, out you go. Mr. Homer, do I look like a dishonest man? Do I look like a man that would cheat you out of the rent? No, but fine. Now, don't you worry. You'll get your rent this afternoon. Very well, Mr. Mathering. This afternoon for sure. Meet George Gomez. Georgie boy to his friends. Well, today is the day. Today is today. I mean, uh, you, uh, you are going to put up the money for the picture. I said I would. Yes. Oh, well, what I mean is I need some cash right now for the little things. Uh, studio rent has to be paid. Uh, scripts have to be typed. Telephone paid? Oh, yes, lots of little things in the picture business, Mr. Gomez. Just call me Georgie Boy. Yes, of course. Now, about that check. Of course. First, about the picture. Are you sure you can get Lena Little to play the part? Georgie Boy, Lena Little and I are just like that. Which one are you? Uh... Now, don't you worry about Lena Little. I'll get her. All right. But I want her to know who's putting up the money for that picture. The check, Georgie boy? Meet Lena Little. She was once a star, now still trying. Yes? This is Fletcher, dear. Hello, Fletcher, darling. I was just going to call you. Mr. Gomez just gave me a check to start the picture with. Elena, are you alone? Why, of course I'm alone, dear. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, darling. Now, tell me all the details of the picture. Well, you are going to star, of course. Now, Mr. Gomez may pay a call on you. I'm sure you know what to do. I'm sure I do. Yes, of course. Well, I have to leave now. My apartment is so empty without you. Are you sure you're alone? But of course, darling, I am. All right, Lena. I'll be going. I still love you, Oopsie Poopsie. Meet Bruno. Mute. 
can't talk, but he can hear and kill. Sending the kid. One thing about it, that he gets caught, he can't talk. <laughs> he may not be able to talk, but he can hear. It isn't very nice to say things like that, especially to a guy who is ready to do a job that you guys are too yellow to do. He might be all right for a job at that. What do you say, Bruno? Want to do me a favor? Okay. Here's what you do. Get on Georgie Boy's tail. Follow him. When you find a nice, dark place, let him have it. And report back here. I don't want to see you until it's done. Got me? Tell me, uh, what studios have you worked in? MGM, Paramount, RKO, Warner Brothers. Hmm. And how many pictures do you have to your credit? 104. You uh, seem to meet the requirements. You're uh, hired. Thank you. Now, what have you done? Oh, I've made many, many, many uh, pictures. Uh, we have just completed the latest one. The print is now in Cairo. The Egyptian market. Of course, we now hope to get let's be honest. You really haven't done a picture, have you?
No. I like you. I'm willing to help you. You are? Together we can make a fine picture. If you let me help you. Uh, yes, but what's our first step? Our first step is casting. Agreed? Yes, yes, agreed. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Now then, what have you done lately? Oh, I have been in Europe for the last few years. I see. And uh, have you ever been in a legitimate theater? I have been in some of the greatest plays they have ever made on, uh, how do you say, Broadway? Oh, very good. Um, I have a part in this picture that I think you would be right for. You see, it's the story of a bank robber. Oh, la, 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 I just love the bank robber. Oh, no, 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 no. Lena loves the bank robber. The part that I have in mind for you is the uh, girlfriend of Lena. Oh, I love the girlfriend. Uh-huh, of course. Well, I haven't made any definite decision uh, about the part yet, but if we could have a uh, talk, I mean a private, private talk, I could make up my mind. Uh, where would we have this private talk? Well, could we, uh, should we say in your apartment? Why, you bum, you. I should report you to the director's guild, honestly. Hmm. How do you do? My name is uh, Fletcher Madden. Uh, my name is John Humberstone. Fine. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Humberstone. Uh, let's see now. What have you done recently? Well, I've just played the lead in four Broadway hits and just uh, finished a successful tour of England. Mm-hmm. And uh, what have you done in films? Well, I've just finished doing two leads for uh, Metro-Golden-Mayer. And uh, last week, I finished starring in a picture for Paramount. Ah, uh, I see. Well, the part I have in mind for you is the starring role in my picture. Tell me, what's the name of your picture? It's called Death Takes a Spree. <laughs> That's a familiar title. Uh, tell me, what this, what's the story about? It's the story of a young girl who was attacked by a bank robber who subsequently dies in the electric chair. I see. Now, tell me, uh... What uh, were you thinking of paying? Yes, yeah, about money. I don't talk about money. I just talk about pictures. Good pictures. Making works of art. That's my job. Not money. You mean I don't get paid? I'm afraid there's no money for stars. How about scale? I'm afraid I can't even pay scale. But I've just finished all these pictures. Lead roles at MGM, starring at uh, Paramount. How can you ask me to do a part for no pay? Art, Mr. Humberstone. Art. Good day to you, sir. Next. What have you done lately? Well, I, I've never been in a picture before. Any stage work? Well, I've never been in a play. Fine, fine, fine. I, uh, I think we can use you. Shall we say, uh, a thousand a week? Oh! Better make that fifteen hundred.
You say you've just arrived? Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. I see. And uh, just why do you want to be an actor? Well, I tell you, I've been watching these movies for quite a spell. Them fellas don't do nothing I can't do. I reckon they was earning more money than I was back home. So I got on my horse and come out here. Figured I'd go to acting for a spell. Leastwise, long enough to buy me a tractor. Those down horses back home are so stubborn. I see. Well, um, I don't think that we have anything in this script that would be uh, right for you. You mean you ain't going to harm me? I'm afraid not. I know there was a cat somewhere. Now the fourth floor has turned me down this week. You sure you ain't got a part for me? Next. What have you got for me today, baby? <clears throat> well, uh, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, what have you done? I've done everything from the Ten Commandments to the Ten Commandments. I have broken all 20 of them. Uh, of course. Well, uh, we have a character part in this picture. Now, it's the story about a bank robber. I'm who... not interested in the plot. All I want to know is when do I go to work and how much money do I get? Well, we uh, start shooting next week. Now, I'm afraid that I can't pay you what you've been used to. How do you know what I've been used to? Did you come in here to argue with me or did you come in here for a part? Bob, I argue with that everybody, but you don't know what I do yet. You haven't seen me work. Watch this routine. Pick me up some rainy afternoon. We will go for a quiet lips Cut, 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 cut. Uh, don't call me. I'll call you. Just a minute.
Hello. You must be Mr. Gomez. Won't you come in? I came here to have a talk with a star before the picture started. A talk about the picture? A talk. Let's sit on the couch where we can be comfortable. So you're the wonderful Mr. Gomez who put up the money for the picture. Oh, just call me Georgie Boy. Georgie Boy. That has a sweet sound. Do you think you could do something for me, Georgie Boy? Oh, for you, anything, baby. Listen. I know you haven't been doing well lately. But if you play it my way, I can put you right back on top again. And what is your way? Let me put on something more comfortable. I'll be right back. Georgie boy.
what's going on there? What happened? A shooting? We're going to look for the guy now that did the shooting. Sure thing. Interrupt your music hour to bring you the latest city news. The attempted gangland slaying against George Gomez, better known to the underworld as Georgie Boy, 
failed early this evening when the would-be assassin's aim was spoiled by an innocent onlooker. Georgie Boy was taken to the Hollywood Receiving Hospital with three bullets in his left shoulder. All the shots were simple flesh wounds, however, and he was released after treatment. Police declined to comment on the shooting fray other than to state that they would look just as hard for his assailant as they would for anyone. A citywide search is now on for the gunman, described as being white, 5'11", medium bill, blonde hair, and when last seen was wearing a dark blue suit. It is rumored around town that Georgie Boy is backing a picture for a man called Fletcher Mathering. If so, Mathering had better get the picture underway before someone's aim improves. And now, we return you to your music hour from Hollywood. <laughs> Did you do the job? Take him, boys. Not here, idiots. Get rid of him out the country somewhere. I guess I'll have to do this job myself.
set, everybody. Lights, camera, action. Now, I think I'd like to have a... Mr. Madeline. Please don't bother me while I'm working. But Mr. Now, in Madeline. this corner, I think we might Mr. have an inky... Madeline. Please, not while I'm working. And now, I think we might have a senior but Mr. over... Mr. Mathering. Mr. Mathering. Yes. What is it? We are not shooting. We're merely rehearsing. Oh. Uh. Very well. If we're going to rehearse, then we shall rehearse. we do the love scene. Now, this is a rehearsal, everybody. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Uh, now, Miss Little. Miss L There you are, Lena, darling. Now, you just take your position on the couch here, please. That's fine. Now, I need John. John, where are you, John? Ah, right. oh, there you are, my boy. Now, John, you have come to this woman's apartment. You are the actor in this scene. You have been chasing this woman for weeks, trying to make love to her, doing everything in your power to get her to succumb to your wishes. But she has repulsed you. I want you to take a position here. Put your arms around her, and uh, mm, I think we might raise the nightgown. Yeah. Make a note of that, please. Raise the nightgown. Now, John, let me see you try it. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Uh, no, 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 John, 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 John. You are here to make love. <whistles> Just a moment. Who are you? I'm a working man. What are you? <clears throat> uh, make a note. No more working men on my pictures. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lena, Lena, Lena. Please, this must come off.
No, 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 no. Now, John, let's try it this way. Lena, darling, stand up. John, I want you to take her in your arms. Now, Lena, you put your arms around John. That's right, just like that. Are you watching, boy? Now, I want you to make love to this girl. Oh. Is he sick? No, he's dead. You better send him for the police. He's been shot. Shot? How could you let this happen on my picture? I didn't let it happen. Oh, I feel faint. We'd better leave everything as it is and go and wait for the police. Now, Mr. Mathering, I took George's check to the bank this afternoon. They wouldn't cash it. Now, when are you going to pay me? Ah, oh, Mr. Homer, I, I have a gentleman coming in this afternoon who guarantees he's going to finish the picture. He guarantees he'll pick up where Georgie boy left off. Tell you what I'll do. I'll call him right now. Call him. Mr. Waver, please. What's that? He what? Oh, no. What happened? When did this happen? What happened? Uh, all right. Thank you. So goodbye. What happened? He died of a heart attack this afternoon. Why, you... taken from me by an act of God. That idiot who is always grasping for money casts me out like a beggar. I'll pay this check, but what about the money? Georgie boy. I know Georgie boy. But I shall put you in all of mine. Wonderful. And when does this picture start rolling? And speaking of checks, you 
Oh, yes. I will. Oh, my purse. I... Why, I must have left it in the studio. Georgie boy, and nobody heard it. Don't have a silencer on your gun.
What are you doing here? What am I doing where? Here, yeah, I mean, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing, taking a Turkish bath? What are you doing with all the excitement going on in the studio now? What excitement? No. Lena Little just got strangled. Strangled? By whom? By the same guy that shot Georgie Boy. Oh, well, what happened to him? Well, the cops got him. And Lena? She's in a hospital. Oh, well, I'll uh, uh, have a drink. Quiet on the set. Everybody quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Lights, action. Uh, everybody quiet on the set. Qu quiet on the set. No, 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 no. Uh, take a note. No, 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 no. Take a quiet on the set. Everybody quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Lights, lights, lights. Light. Crawling victims. It's slimy animals that prey on you, and me, and anyone else that dares to trespass on the byways in the Hollywood jungle. 